Welcome to Personal Protection with Lee Hasdell. Today I wanted to uh, talk about something that's uh, quite abstract. So, I saw an article in the uh, Futurism uh, social media page uh, where it says the MIT have developed uh, technology that can hack dreams. This is a subject that I've been uh, talking about for over 10 years and uh, I've been explaining it to, uh, to, to students, to clients, to, to the general public. Um, it's been largely ignored. Now, uh, most of you have seen the, the movie Inception with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, uh, that's a good example. And when I saw that film, I knew straight away that this is going to be the future, the future crime. And there needs to be a solution to this. Coincidentally, um, around about, I think it's 10, 12 years ago, I was contacted by some Russian business people and they had some concerns that um, themselves and their colleagues were being uh, targeted by uh, criminals uh, who were using uh, um, te technology based on psionics and uh, inception, which basically means that they were able to uh, enter your subconscious, enter your dreams, uh, alter your decision making, so on and so forth. So uh, this was a big problem and um, I got involved with the team and uh, I, I undertook a, a lot of training with regards to this subject and it really opened my mind to the potential for future criminality and most of all the solution to it. So a lot of this stuff is based on hypnosis, uh, NLP, uh, psionics, uh, psychic attacks, non-physical uh, thought forms, uh, distant attacks, um, which whether you like it or not, or whether you believe in it or not, uh, the criminals, or there are criminal or nefarious elements that do, and they practice this. Uh, very similar to uh, things like uh, witchcraft, voodoo, uh, black magic, so on and so forth. Uh, these are very serious um, subjects, and um, it's science is now starting to back it up. Now, as an example, uh, going back to the article that I saw, MIT have developed a technology that will enable uh, dreams to be hacked. So, let me ask this question. I always ask this question. Uh, for those that know me, you would have heard me ask this question many times in the past. Okay, so let me ask uh, the listeners a question, or a few questions. Do you have a password on your Facebook account? Do you have a PIN code for your debit credit MasterCard. Do you have a PIN code on your mobile phone? Do you have a password on your email account? Uh, do you have a, a lock, a remote lock for your car? Do you have an alarm system on your house? Okay, I can go on and on, and I'm pretty sure that most of you are going to answer yes, okay, to the majority of the questions. Now, do you have a password, passcode, PIN number? for your psyche, for your mind, for your emotions, for your essence, uh, for your dreams, so on and so forth. Uh, probably I can guarantee that most of you will say no. Okay, so it seems, it, it's always seems strange to me that we would have so much security uh, with passwords and codes in everything and every factor of our lives. And yet when it comes to our mind, our emotions, our dreams, our psyche, uh, our essence, that we have no protection whatsoever. It's not even uh, acknowledged, it's not even talked about, it's not taught at school, it's not taught in colleges, it's not taught in security, it's not taught in uh, close protection, uh, so on and so forth. Now, because I experienced this uh, firsthand uh, with the uh, Russian business people, um, I've seen it firsthand and I've seen psychological attacks. Uh, I've seen the, uh, the aftermath of psychological attacks. Uh, and I'm talking, you know, serious um, problems with mental health and so on and so forth. Uh, also, people making very, very bad decisions. Um, I also saw a, a video on Crime Watch. Um, I'll try and find it and uh, upload it onto the YouTube channel. Uh, with regards to uh, two criminals walking into a shop, they hypnotise the shopkeeper, uh, rob him, and then they unhypnotise him and walk out. And you can see uh, the bewilderment and um, that the shopkeeper is just completely confused. He doesn't even know what's happened. Uh, and they use very, very simple NLP hypnosis type techniques uh, on the shopkeeper to, to rob him. 
Uh, and this is going back quite a few years. And I did actually uh, send that out to um, uh, a few of my friends, family, colleagues, just to, just to demonstrate uh, what type of crimes or the potential of crimes that are coming. Um, and that will probably be the normal crime. Now, if you ask yourself, uh, 30 years ago, was there any such thing as an internet security officer? Uh, probably not. Uh, you know, it didn't exist then. Uh, now it's a big thing. Uh, I see adverts everywhere uh, looking for um, um, internet security uh, staff and uh, training courses and so on and so forth. Uh, to me, this is going to be a very big industry in terms of uh, the security industry, uh, internet security, uh, dealing with uh, firewalls and um, uh, hack hackers and uh, even uh, ethical hackers and penetration testers and so on and so forth. Uh, this is big business. Now, my prediction, I say prediction, but it's already here, that it's going to now be... A, uh, a thing where criminals or nefarious agencies and bodies or uh, individuals can actually hack your mind, your psyche, your emotions, your, um, your dreams, uh, your decision making, so on and so forth. Um, on, 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 a, on an obvious note, um, advertising, look at advertising. If advertising didn't work, if a third party wasn't able to influence your decision making, there would be no such thing as advertising. Advertising would not exist. Uh, these corporations and companies and uh, uh, manufacturers spend billions, millions of pounds, dollars, whatever, on advertising. Why? To alter your decision making. Okay, so th it is a thing. You can be heavily influenced by um, external um, influences. And um, these are the subjects that really need to be, really need to be looked at, looked into. So uh, people might say, you know, well, you know, it's intangible, you can't see it, so on and so forth. Why worry about it? Well, let me give you an example of, of something that you can't see, but it's very, very important. So if I say the word intent, so intent, intentions, can you see it? Can you hold it? Where is it? Can you point to it? Okay, but it can make a difference between spending the rest of your life in prison or not. So, you know, if you, if you run somebody over in your car uh, and it was, it was not your intention to run them over, it was an accident. But if it was your intention to run them over, then you're probably looking at um, a lifetime in prison. So intent is an intangible thing, but it makes a massive amount of difference. Now, when it comes to personal protection, uh, intent has to be studied. I always teach all of my students uh, about intent and intentions. So... If you protect yourself with an object and you have no choice um, and you protect yourself, you defend yourself and you injure the attacker, um, you're okay because it wasn't your intention. Your intention was to, to defend yourself uh, reasonably uh, within the law. Um, but if you carry any object and it's your intent to hurt somebody, it doesn't matter what the object is, if it's your intent to hurt somebody, then it becomes a weapon. Then you have a problem, even if you are attacked. If, it is, if you made it clear that it's your intention to, to injure somebody, then legally you, you, you're potentially looking at a big, a big problem. So uh, intent is a very important thing. Now, with regards to solutions to uh, this uh, mind hacking and so on and so forth, um, I'm not going to go into the solutions now. Um, people that come to me, people that contact me, people that I work with and work for, um, I explain to them in depth the solutions that, that we have um, ready available now and the development of solutions ongoing because you know things change day to day, technology changes, um, the intent changes from the criminals. Uh, so the game's, the game's evolving, the game's changing all the time. So um, we have solutions ready now. We also have solutions that, are, that we're researching and that are in the development stages. Uh, it's a dynamic, uh, personal protection is a dynamic subject. And uh, the moment you become static, um, that's when you, you lose your solutions and you're losing the battle. So uh, I'll just give you a, a rough guide to uh, certain things that may help. Now, because the criminals are dealing with the intangible, uh, they're dealing with your psyche, your mind, your, your thinking, your um, emotions, your, um, your
your dreams, so on and so forth. Um, the, we also have uh, intangible things that we can use to, to help us um, be protected. So if, if I say things like intent, which I've already mentioned, uh, if I say visualization, creativity, um, awareness, these are, these are all intangible things. So intent trumps everything. Okay, so in personal protection, tr um, intent trumps everything else. Okay, in a court of law, intent trumps everything. Um, for obvious reasons, you know, what, was it your intention to do X, Y, and Z? Yes or no? Uh, that is what they're trying to get to the bottom of. You know, what, it, what is your intent? Did you go out with the intention of X, Y, and Z? Um, you can't see it. You can't measure it, you can't touch it, you can't pick it up, um, but it's there, it's, it's, it's a real thing, you know, it is a thing. Intention or intent is a thing. Equally, visualization, awareness, creativity, uh, imagination, or, or, or um, um, dynamic imagination. Uh, I don't mean passive, I mean like active dynamic uh, imagination. Uh, these are very important tools that we all have but often they've been left neglected or totally not used at all. Um, so these are the things that I inspire in my students. These are the, the subjects that, that anybody that works with me in, in terms of personal protection, um, I will, will generate and cultivate and develop their ability to, to use the intangible qualities and uh, tools that they already have. Uh, I like to call it the, the biotech or biotechnology. Um, it's natural. It's our, you know, part of our biology to have these things. But like I say, they're quite often neglected or unused, or you know, um, most people don't even are not aware of these things. Okay, so um, going back to the, uh, the the dream hacking. So I saw this article and it, it, and when I saw it, I was like, there it is in black and white. You know, the science community are now. Um, openly admitting that it is a thing. Okay, um, I've been dealing with non-physical personal protection for for uh, many decades, and um, I've ramped it up in the last uh, few years, where I've focused uh, a lot more on the non-physical aspects of personal protection as opposed to the physical. The physical protection is pretty much done. Um, there's not that much more to be done. Uh, the anatomy of an attack, um, people have two legs, two arms, one head, so on and so forth, uh, the physicalities of an attack, um, it's, it's kind of been done and been done and been done and um, it's pretty much reached a ceiling as to, you know, in terms of its development. Now, the non-physical side of personal protection, to me, has always been a big, big uh, void or vacuum where it's like nobody wants to go there. Well, many years ago, I made a decision that that's where I would focus my um, personal protection training. Um, partly because of um, things that have happened, like uh, uh, Russian clients that had problems with inception, uh, which was kind of like, um, it was a golden opportunity for me to, to get involved with that, that line of, of work. And um, it also exposed me to a lot of good teachers and... Um, uh, practitioners of of this discipline so this is more of a heads up to start paying attention to uh, the potential of uh, dream hacking idea hacking mind hacking uh, emotion hacking so on and so forth um, it's real it's out there and uh, just give it another few months few years uh, maybe a decade and it will become an everyday occurrence everyday reality and um, just remember, it's it's always better to preempt. It's always better to be uh, to be ready, to be prepared. Um, don't leave it until it's already a thing and you've, you're a victim and so on and so forth. Start looking into it. Um, for more information, feel free to contact me uh, either through um, uh, social media or through our website. Um, it's got all the contact numbers on there. Uh, I'm always available, and um, get in touch. Uh, get involved. I recommend that um, um, that you do explore this this uh, this discipline. 
um, this phenomena, uh, because I guarantee you it will be here um, in a big way over the next few years or even months. Okay, so I'll wrap it up and uh, remember stay safe and stay private, protected and peaceful. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.